Hey guys, welcome to part one in our video tutorial series for the theme Salient. This is Mr. Nectar himself, and in this part we're going to be looking at importing the included dummy data file. What this is going to do is basically give you the look and the setup of the live demo, minus the images of course. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Here we are in the WordPress admin dashboard. We're currently in the Appearance Themes tabs because we haven't even activated our theme yet. All we've done is upload it at this point. And if you're unfamiliar with uploading themes, you can either do it by FTP transfer or you can upload it right through the Install Themes tab. By clicking on this, going to Upload, and then browsing for your theme zip. The theme zip is actually located inside of your Downloads folder. If you try and upload just the straight download folder that you got from ThemeForest, it's going to give you an error and complain. So make sure you correctly extract your theme zip from that folder first before trying to upload. Okay, anyway, since we already have it installed, we're going to go back over to the Manage Themes. And now we are going to activate the theme. So we've just activated the theme. Let's take a look at what it looks like immediately without doing any prior setup. Let's go straight to the front end. So what we have here is just the blog page, the standard WordPress blog page, and all of the standard widgets you can see being populated on the right side. Currently, we have no menu assigned, and we are using the normal text logo, which is just automatically generated from your blog name, your site name. You can see we have four widget areas here, which is dummy text, and not too much going on. The first thing we need to do is go back to the admin panel, and then go to Tools, Import. From here, you click on WordPress. If you don't already have that plugin installed, it might prompt you, but if you do, then you'll end up at this screen. Click Browse, and then locate the dummy data XML file that was included with your purchase. It is located inside of the root of your download folder. I recommend just extracting it from there and putting it somewhere easy to find before even getting to the step, like your desktop. After you've located it, open it up and upload and import. Here we need to just assign all the previous posts to a new user, same user in my case, and make sure to click download and import file attachments. Now just let it run, it should only take a few seconds. Okay, all done. So now we have essentially all of the content, including all of the shortcode setups that were seen on the live demo. Now if we go straight back to the front end, we can see that we have all of the posts correctly imported, but it looks like we're missing some of the other content. It still says we have no menu assigned, and if you scroll to the bottom, we don't have any widget areas, and we're missing some of the social icons and other aspects that we're seeing on the live demo. The first thing to do now at this point, head back over to the admin panel. We're going to go into Appearance Menus. Salient comes with um, a custom menu. It makes it easier for you to manage pages and create custom links. All of those pages have been imported, but you just need to assign the menu to a location now to get it to populate. So assign the menu that was imported called Primary and save changes. Now if we go back to the front, you'll notice that we have access to all of the pages. The only problem now is, why is the blog appearing as the front page when it should be the home page? The home page is just a link on our menu. In order to get the home page to correctly populate, as the front, we want to go back over to the admin panel and go to settings, reading. Here, we're going to change our front page into a static page rather than just the blog, which is by default. We're going to add the front page as a home page and the post page as the blog page. Now, when we go to our website, the first thing that will appear is the home page, as it should. The blog page is now separated as a menu link and all of your posts can appear there. So now it's starting to look pretty good. It looks like we have a nice setup going, very similar to the live demo, except all of the images are black. This is to be expected. Most of the images cannot be included in this because of copyright purposes. The black areas are simply being used as placeholders, so don't be alarmed at that. It's very easy to change and update your real content now from here. So if you explore around a little bit, you'll see that all the layouts have been imported correctly, as they should have. So now that you have the dummy data imported, it's very easy to just simply go through 
And you can see how everything is really set up to get a better feel for the theme and modify as needed from here. I want to thank you for joining me in this first part of the video series. I'll see you soon.